Remember also what I told you about time and events. All the events you could possibly imagine, indeed have imagined, are taking place right now in the eternal moment. This is the holy instant. This is the moment that precedes your awareness. It is what is happening before the light gets to you. This is the present moment sent to you, created by you, before you even know it. You call this the present, and it is a present. It is the greatest gift given to you by God. You have the ability to choose which of all the experiences you've ever imagined you choose to experience now. None of this is real. You are living an illusion. This is a big magic show and you are pretending that you don't know the tricks even though you are the magician. It is important to remember this, otherwise you will make everything very real. Keep in mind that what you are looking at, you are not really seeing. Your brain is not the source of your intelligence. It is simply a data processor. It takes in data through receptors called your senses. It interprets this energy information according to its previous data on the subject. It tells you what it perceives, not what really is. Based on these perceptions, you think you know the truth about something when actually you do not know the half of it. In reality, you are creating the truth that you know. You cannot comprehend God if you are thinking inside your current values, concepts, and understandings. If you wish to comprehend God, you must be willing to accept that you currently have limited data rather than asserting that you know all there is to know on this subject. There is something I do not know, the knowing of which could change everything. Indeed, here is the grandest truth. You are making everything up. Life is the process by which everything is being created. God is the energy, the pure, raw energy by which you call life. By this awareness, we come to a new truth. God is a process. God is the collective and God is the all. And God is also the process by which all is created and experiences itself. God is a process, not a person, place, or thing. God is exactly what you have always thought but not understood. You have always thought that God is the supreme being. And you have been right about that. I am exactly that. A being. Notice that being is not a thing. It is a process. I am the supreme being. That is the supreme comma being. Being supreme. I am not the result of a process. I am the process itself. I am the creator and I am the process by which I am created. Everything you see in the heavens and the earth is me being created. The process of creation is never over. It is never complete. I am never done. This is another way of saying everything is forever changing. Nothing stands still. Nothing, no thing is without motion. Everything is energy in motion. In your earthly shorthand, you have called this emotion. You are God's highest emotions. When you look at a thing, you are not looking at a static something that is standing there in time and space. No, you are witnessing an event. Because everything is moving, changing, evolving, everything, always. It is true that I seem to be a verb. God is an event. You have called that event life. Life is a process. That process is observable, knowable, and predictable. The more you observe, the more you know, and the more you can predict but God is the unchangeable, the one constant, the unmoved mover. That is the truth. The one unchanging truth is that God is always changing. That is the truth. And you can't do anything to change it. <laughs> the one thing that never changes is that everything is always changing. Life is change. God is life. Therefore, God is change. My love for you is always changing because you are always changing and I love you just the way you are. 
and for me to love you just the way you are, my idea of what is lovable must change as your idea of who you are changes. Nobody does anything inappropriate given their model of the world. And I love you always, in all ways. There is no way you can be that could cause me not to love you. Of course, don't you remember? We have been all of it, you and I. We have been the up and down of it and the left and right of it. We've been the here and the there of it and the now and the then of it. We've been the big and the small of it. We've been the male and the female of it, the good and the bad of it. We've all been the all of it. And we've done it by agreement so that each of us might experience ourselves as the grandest part of God. For we have understood that in the absence of that which you are not, that which you are is not. In the absence of cold, you cannot be warm. In the absence of sad, you cannot be happy. Without a thing called evil, the experience you call good cannot exist. If you choose to be a thing, something or someone opposite to that has to show up somewhere in your universe to make that possible. Those people are God's special angels and these conditions, God's gifts. Do not be sad. Be happy to notice what is true and be joyous in your decision to live a new truth. For God is a work in progress, and so are you. And remember this always. If I saw you as God sees you, you would smile a lot. So go now and see each other as who you really are. <laughs> observe, observe, observe if you wish to increase the speed with which you are evolving. Seek to observe more. And I would have you now observe that you too are an event. You are a human comma, being. You are a process and you are, in any given moment, the product of your process. You are the creator and the created. I am saying these things over and over again. I am repeating them so that you will hear them and understand them. Now this process you and I are is eternal. It always was, is now, always will be occurring. It needs no help from you in order to occur. It happens automatically. And when left alone, it happens perfectly. Life resolves life in the process of life itself. If you will just let go, you have gotten yourself out of the way. The way is the process, which is called life itself. This is why all masters have said, I am the life and the way, follow me. They have understood what I have said perfectly. You are the life and you are the way, the event in progress, the process. All wisdom asks you to do is trust the process. That is, trust God, or if you wish, trust yourself, for thou art God. Remember, we are all one. So like the things life keeps bringing you, Know and understand that you're bringing it to yourself and see the perfection in that. See it in everything, not just in everything that you would call perfect. I have told you this. No one can create your experience of anything. Other beings can and do co-create the exterior circumstances and events of the life you live in common. But the one thing that no one else can do is cause you to have an experience of anything you do not choose to experience. In this, you are a supreme being, and no one, no one can tell you how to be. The world can present you with circumstances, but only you decide what these circumstances mean. Remember the truth that nothing matters. All is energy, and that energy turns itself into matter. That is the physical stuff and occurrences, according to how we think about them. Nothing matters means that nothing turns into matter except as we choose it to, as we think it to. All of you, all of you have experienced everything. That goes for all beings, not only humans. You have not only experienced everything, you are everything. You are all of it. You are that which you are experiencing. Indeed, you are causing the experience. And what you are doing now is simply remembering everything you are and choosing the portion of that which you prefer to experience in this moment, in this lifetime, on this planet, in physical form. It is simple. 
You have separated yourself from the body of God, from the all, from the collective, and you are becoming a member of that body once again. This is the process called remembering. As you remember, you give yourself once again all the experiences of who you are. This is a cycle. You do this over and over again, and you call this evolution. You say that you evolve. Actually, you revolve, just as the earth revolves around the sun, just as the galaxies revolve around its center. Everything revolves. Revolution is the basic movement of all of life. Life energy revolves. This is what it does. You are in a truly revolutionary movement. 